नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्लास 11 चैप्टर 4 मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन मॉड्यूल 1 टुडे वी शैल कवर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डिडक्शन एंड इंडक्शन मेथड अंडरस्टैंडिंग मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन बाय इलस्ट्रेशन एंड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन एंड फ्यू एग्जांपल नाउ व्हाट इज मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन इज नथिंग बट अ मैथमेटिकल टूल और अ टेक्निक टू प्रूव मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट्स लाइक वी यूज डिफरेंट टूल्स फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पसेस सेम वे इन मैथमेटिक्स आल्सो वी यूज डिफरेंट मेथड्स फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स एंड मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन इज वन ऑफ देम एंड बिफोर एक्सप्लेनिंग मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन देयर इज अनदर टेक्निक आल्सो mathematical deduction so let us first understand what is deduction thus deduction is a given statement to be proven often called conjecture or the theorem theorem name already know valid deductive steps are derived and proof may or may not be established in theorem like you did in many theorems uh, in earlier classes we do it by method of contradiction so deduction is a application of general case to particular case or a specific case let us understand with the help of example uh, like pythagoras is a man all men are mortal so we can conclude that pythagoras is mortal Be basis on these two statements we can deduce the statement that pythagoras is mortal let us take another mathematical example let 6 is divisible by 2 and any number divisible by 2 is known as even number therefore 6 is an even number so we conclude this or deduce this result depending upon above two statements or above uh, statements so this is the case from general to specific these are general statements we are coming to specific now Inductive reasoning depends upon working with each and every case and developing a conjecture by observing incidences till we have observed each and every case. Let us understand with the help of one example. Suppose Reena eats food, Meena eats food, Veena eats food, Deepak eats food, Aman eats food and if we say Reena, Meena, Deepak, Aman all these are humans. So, we can generalize from this result that humans eat food. So, we are moving from specific to general like and this inductive method is frequently used in mathematics and it is a key aspect of scientific reasoning. It is logical reasoning where collecting and analyzing data is a norm. Thus, in simple language induction is from specific or particular cases to generalization. Now, with the help of this mathematical example, you can understand it better. 1 is an odd number which can be represented 0 plus 1. 3 is an odd number which can be written like 2 plus 1, where 0 and 2 are even numbers. Now, 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 is an even number. Now, we can write this odd number which is equal to even number plus 1. This is odd number, even number plus 1, 3 is odd number, even number plus 1. Now, from above these statements, what we can generalize is that 2 odd numbers are actually 2 even numbers plus 2 and this is the mathematical example. So, in algebra or any other discipline of mathematics, there are certain results or statements that are expressed in terms of n where n is a positive integer. For example, if I ask you to add uh, natural numbers till 50 like uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till 50, you can do it though it is a lengthy process, but if I ask you to do it like 1 to 50,000, then you will not be able to do it. If I give you a formula, then it becomes easy for it, easy for you. Now, formula means that will be expressed in terms of n. Uh, there are many formulas to prove such statements or well suited principle that is used based on specific technique and it is known as principle of mathematical induction. And before moving to mathematical induction properly, I would like to take one interesting example that is dominoes effect. 
on internet also you must have seen uh, many pictures or gifs or videos where rectangular tiles are placed at some particular distance and if we push one of the tile other next tile will fall that will make the next tile will fall and likewise all the tiles will keep on falling till end so let us understand with the help of one video as you can see in this video if we have pushed one tile and it is making the other tiles fall and the all tiles keep on falling and uh, with the help of this picture you can see here this man is pushing this tile and this tile is making the other tile fall and so on you can see so when we first tile is pushed in the indicated direction all tiles will fall to be absolutely sure that tiles will fall it is sufficient to know means suppose we have pushed one tile and we move to other side without noticing whether first tile has fallen or not if first tile itself has not fallen how the other tiles will fall no question of it so we need to ensure when we push first tile it should fall if it falls then how it impacts the other tiles so it is sufficient to know that first tile falls we need to ensure that the second step is in the event that any tile falls any tiles means if we pick any random tile from it and if we find that that tile falls we need to check whether subsequent or the next tile falls or not these are two major steps to be taken care of while studying mathematical induction so this is the underlying principle of mathematical induction beautifully explained with the help of domino effect and with this domino effect in this present scenario of covid 19 we can easily explain the social distancing with these pictures like this is the corona virus and it has pushed one tile or the people it has attacked and it is spreading like anything but if we create a distance between these tiles so that much sufficient distance that if one tile falls it does not affect the other tile then these tiles will keep standing they will not fall so by following this principle of social distancing we can help to stop or sl uh, slow down the spread of corona virus now mathematically principle of mathematical induction formula is a mathematical statement and we use mathematical induction to prove these statements and the sum of first n natural number is given by this formula we need to prove this formula why we need to prove you may say that if we put n is equal to 1 means we want to find out sum of first natural number or one natural number if we substitute n by 10 we can prove it both way by manually doing the sum from 1 to 10 and by substituting in the formula we can easily prove it but we cannot prove it for bigger terms if i substitute it for 50000 we i can find out the value by this formula but manually if i want to do it it is very difficult still if i do it but i want to prove it for further further bigger number this is difficult so we need some tool or technique that helps us to prove these formula and that is nothing but mathematical induction so principle of mathematical induction we need to follow these steps first we need to give the name to the statement there is a given statement pn involving the natural number n where n represents a natural number the first step is the statement is true for n is equal to 1 we need to prove that it is the, that i have told you in the case of tiles domino tiles that first tile need to be pushed and it it should fall then only we can move further the same here for any formula we need to prove it for one this is the basic step next step is if the statement is true for uh, we have uh, assumed that it is true, uh, true for p1 we have proved it now it is statement is true for n is equal to k where k is some positive integer as i told you in case of dominoes that if we pick at random any tile if it falls if it falls i am stressing it because we here we assume that any random tile falls or any random number k the formula is true for any random number k then we need to prove that its successive number that is k plus 1 it is true for 
n is equal to k plus 1 also. And if it is true for k plus 1, then we can say that formula is valid or truth of p k implies the truth of k plus 1. So, p n is true for all natural number if this is true. Now, let us understand it with the help of example. Now, before moving to this mathematical example, we would like to highlight few properties uh, that we uh, explained in uh, principle of mathematic uh, induction. The first one was basic step that we proved for 1, but it is not always true for all the formulas because it is simply a statement of fact. It may be the, there may be the situations when statement is true for n greater than equal to 4. What do we mean by greater than equal to 4? Here first step is not n is equal to 1. Here we will be taking first step as n is equal to 4 instead of 1. So, we will write p4. So, first step we will prove as p4 should be true. Now, the second property that was our inductive property, it is a conditional property. It does not assert that given statement is true for n is equal to k because here we assume that, here we assume if at any random number taken from that series of formula is true for k, then only we move further to prove that it is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So, you need to take care that we true prove it for, uh, we assume it for n is equal to k. Assume word is important here. So, if the statement is true for n is equal to k, here if is an important word, then it is also true for n is equal to k plus 1. So, this is inductive hypothesis. First one was basic step, this is inductive, the assumption that given statement is true for n is equal to k in this inductive step is called inductive hypothesis. Now, observe this pattern where this one, it is an odd number, odd number can be represented as square of first natural number, sum of two odd numbers 1 and 3 can be represented by sec square of second natural number sum of three odd numbers can be represented by square of third natural number and sum of four odd numbers, odd natural numbers can be represented by fourth because they are four, therefore fourth uh, natural numbers square and similarly we can go ahead. From this pattern you notice that that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, 2 and plus 1 represents any uh, odd natural number and this is equal to n square. So, sum of first n odd natural numbers is square of n. Let us write this statement as p n first. This is the first step of using principle of mathematical induction. Now, p n is a statement which needs to be proven that is sum of n odd numbers is equal to n square. We wish to prove that p n is true for all n. It is true for 1. How it is true for 1? We are saying obviously because if we substitute 1 here, this is 2 minus 1. On the left hand side, it will give us 1. On the right hand side also, it will give us 1. So, we can easily say that p 1 is true. That is why it is called basic step. Assume, again I am stressing assume that p k is true for some positive integer k. We need to prove it for p k plus 1 is also true. For that, first we write since we are taken that p k is true, we can easily replace here n by k. So, this is the statement 1, we name it. Now, consider the statement for k plus 1, p k plus 1 means we need to replace here n by k plus 1. If I write here 2 k plus 1 minus 1, this is the last number of this sequence. What will be the previous number? Pre previous number will be obviously 2 k minus 1 and this is for k plus 1. So, we have replaced it with this. This is up till k terms and this is our k plus 1th term on the both side. Now, we know that this much result 
from the statement above that this is equal to k square. I have replaced this whole term by k square and adding the k plus 1th term to this. After solving this 2k plus 2 minus 1, it will give us 2k plus 1 and on the right hand side in place of k square, we need to write this. Means we need to show that this left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now, as you know that this is the term here, we are left with 2k plus 1. If we combine this, this makes the formula for k plus 1 whole square. This is nothing but k plus 1 whole square and this is what we wanted on the right hand side because for k terms it was required k square on the right hand side and for k plus 1 terms we can write k plus 1 whole square and that is it. Now another example for n greater than equal to 0 we need to prove that sum of squares of natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6. We already know this formula and we have been using it but how we, we, we can verify it by mathematical induction. First step basic step that is for n is equal to 1 because here our first term is 1. So p n p 1 is nothing but if we solve it replace here n by 1 this will give us 1 into 2 into 3 divided by 6 which is 1. So our basic step is true we can move further. Let us assume that it is p k is true for some positive number k. Now since we have assumed that p k is true we can easily replace n by k here. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square till k square gives us k into k plus 1 into 2 k plus 1 divided by 6. We assume that it is true therefore we give it a name as statement 1. We shall now prove that the statement p n is true for n is equal to k plus 1 also. So for k plus 1 what we need to do is we will write the terms till k k and then the next term which is k plus 1 whole square. Taking another extra term, if we take extra term, this sum will all this sum will come. Adding to it the square of the next term, now we need to show this and taking left hand side, we know that up till this term, up till this we already know this is equal to this. We replace this by this result and we are adding this 6 denominator will multiplied by this will give this result. After solving this expression we get k plus 1 into 2 k square plus 7 k plus 6 and factorizing this quadratic equation we have factorized it you can see here. And we see that all the terms in terms of k plus 1. So if we compare it with k and this is k plus 1 and this is nothing but 2 k plus 1. If we compare it since it was true for k now it is true for k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1, 2 k plus 1 plus 1 divided by 6. So we can see that this statement p n is true for p k plus 1 also. Thus p k 1 is true whenever p k is true. Hence from principle of mathematical induction p n is true for all n that is where n are natural numbers. Today's module 1 we covered introduction of deduction and induction method understanding mathematical induction by illustration and principle of mathematical induction, basic step and inductive step. That is all. Thank you.